Okay, so uh, just as a recap, right? So in PCA, you know, was not the ideal case for this synthetic data because it just produced this top-down view. Um, Tizni, you know, was pretty nice, but it creates these like discrete clusters, um, you know, and you can play around again with the perplexity, maybe you get better results. And then UMAP really, you know, was able to capture this, this bringing us characteristic of the data. But uh, as I said, like, uh, as I should say, like there is no right or wrong, right, in how to show the data. You really have to imagine these algorithms as like um, a window or like, you know, like glasses, and they just show you different things about the data, right? So that you can't really say one is wrong or one is right. They're just transforming the data in their own way. And, you know, that's that's how it is. Um, so then, okay, so this is the last slide, then uh, you survived this lecture. So the uh, kind of want to show it because it's really nice and intuitive to explain the difference between TSNI and UMAP because they're working otherwise very similar. So their biggest difference is the, the function that they use to penalize distances um, or differences in the distances between the high and low dimensional projection. So uh, how you look at this plot is you have uh, X and Y, uh, if you look on the, on the left. So X stands for the distance between points in high dimensions. So if I have two points and they have a high distance, then they would be like somewhere here in the front, right? So let's say three, right? So they're like down here. And then Y would be the distance of the two points in the low dimensional projection. So um, ideally, we want to preserve, you know, uh, distances. So uh, let's say in, in the case of TSNI, let's say we have two genes and they're really close to each other. So let's say they have a distance close to zero, right? So it's like here. And then uh, they're also really, and they're really high. Let's say the distance is really high in the low dimensional space. So then we're here. So then in this function, we're all up here, right? And so this is the cost. So this is the penalty. So this algorithm really doesn't like that. And uh, so we'll then try to push the points away in its layout, right? And um, but then uh, this is the same for UMAP, which uses a different. It's using cross entropy. It also doesn't like that, right? It will try to push the points away. Uh, but then the difference really is in this case, right? And this is if there is a low distance between two points in the low dimensional space, but there's actually a high distance in the original high dimensional space. It doesn't really penalize that, right? So, I mean, if you want to read the whole thing, there's a nice uh, link that I found. Uh, but it basically just means is that Tizni really only cares about maintaining uh, that two points that are close to each other in high dimensional space should be close to each other in the low dimensional space. And uh, UMAP cares about two points that are close in high dimensional space to be close in high dimension in low dimensional space and to put two genes that are or points that are far away in high dimensional space should be far away in low dimensional space. So that's uh, you know the intuitive, ish explanation of the difference between the two. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I uh, want to thank Avi for, uh, you know, allowing me to work on these slides for way too long. And uh, uh, yeah, everybody in the lab, um, 